The Southern Poverty Law Center began tracking anti-government extremist groups in the mid-90s after a series of events sparked a rise in militia groups throughout the country. Those events were the 1992 siege at Ruby Ridge, Idaho, and the 1993 assault on the Branch Davidians in Waco, Texas. The movement hit a high point in 1995, when a bomb planted by Timothy McVeigh exploded in front of the Alfred P. Murrah Federal Building in Oklahoma City. After the bombing, leaders in the anti-government movement made a conscious effort to distance themselves from white supremacy. Some rejected that type of violence, while others feared the racism would make their message less palatable. In reaction to the 9-11 terror attacks and the U.S. response to them, nativist hate under a thin veil of national security rhetoric has become central to the Patriot Movement's ideology. After the election of the first African-American president in 2008, a new wave of anti-government extremism was born with groups like the Oath Keepers, the 3% Movement, and the Lightfoot Militia. During President Barack Obama's second term in 2012, the number of anti-government extremist groups rose to an all-time high of 1,360, fueled in part by changing demographics, a struggling economy, and the existence of an African-American president. The movement was again in the national spotlight in 2014, when the Oath Keepers, 3%ers, and others supported Nevada cattle rancher Cliven Bundy during his family standoff with the Bureau of Land Management over grazing rights. Members of the Bundy family and their supporters took part in the armed occupation of the Malheur National Wildlife Refuge in 2016. There, a confrontation with local law enforcement resulted in the death of one of the occupiers. That same year, three members of the militia group The Crusaders were arrested in Garden City, Kansas, after the FBI obtained details of a bombing plot aimed at Somali and Muslim communities. The attack was planned to devastate a housing complex with hundreds of residents. Had the FBI not thwarted it, the death toll may have rivaled that of the Oklahoma City bombing. Violent plots, like the one in Garden City, may become more frequent as anti-government extremists continue to use the internet to facilitate.